Copra 6 is the latest release of ColorLogic's ICC profiling application and includes many new features and improvements. We're going to go over some of the major new additions right now. First, the printer profile module has added improvements to handle specific types of applications for multicolor. Right here, we have a new feature called Avoid Dot on Dot. When printing with gamut extending process colors such as CMYK, orange, green, violet, and blue, in a traditional AM screening, the process colors of violet and blue are often put to the same screen angle as black. This can result in dot on dot issues leading to color lightness and variances and things like that. However, when you add this feature, black, blue, and violet combinations and separations also reduce the gamut considerably. We can see that here if you click this on and you can see the gamut in our 3D gamut view shrinking quite a bit. To give a quick overview on how this works, I can turn the feature on and save the profile with it on and I can also go back and make a comparative profile, set it to off. Once the profiles are generated, we can simply go to Photoshop and see the results by converting a simple test file like our ColorLogic test page and turning the separations off to see the differences in the image. It's obvious if you look down at this picture here in the corner what the differences versus on and off makes. Again, this feature should only be used if you're using AM screening, FM screening, and other types of hybrid screening, this type of uh, profile is not necessary. Copra's Save Ink module has been enhanced to support Save Ink for multicolor profiles. Of course, for the profile to be used, you have to have a black channel as the fourth channel. Profiles that don't include black are not supported. In addition, you have to have software such as ColorLogic Zebra that can process a seven color to seven color device link. Not all systems will support that. So right there I have a six color profile. I can adjust the Delta E tolerance just like you could with a CMYK profile. You can change the black start and whatnot. And of course exceptions such as preserve black and skin tones won't be available because these are custom exceptions specific to CMYK profiles. Device link iteration has also been added to our device link tools. Iteration can be used to improve the output of a device link file with a measured test chart. Even device links with multicolor color spaces can now be optimized. And of course, this is great for proofing devices. To iterate a device link, you would simply drag your measured data or your media wedge. You would find the profile that you would like to iterate. And in this case, I'm just going to iterate to uh, an Epson printer. And then down here, the profile would be automatically named with 001. You can name this, of course, uh, anything you'd like. And click Save. Copra will automatically calculate the new profile in the background, of course, in our, with our batch profile processing. We're going to do another video in detail about how to iterate specific profiles, and also how to compare the results with Colorant. More improvements have been added to the linearization module as well. If you hit Customize, we of course have our same standards that we had before, such as linearization according to G7, and you hit Next. But here is where the new feature comes in handy. You can now save the curves as a Photoshop file format or as an XML format. This allows you to be able to import these curves into Photoshop or obviously in the XML format, it allows you to import it into a variety of RIFs. The image conversion tool has been totally revamped. We've added a larger preview, the option for converting to lab, and also the resulting files can be saved as separate layers for simple analysis in Photoshop. Simply drag and drop. The image conversion tool will automatically select the embedded profile. You can select the target profile from the bottom and I'm just going to simply pick a four color profile. 
and you would hit add layer. To select a different conversion, you simply go back, select another profile, and you add another layer. When you open that resulting file in Photoshop, you'll see that all the different layers have been named with the source and target profiles. At ColorLogic, we are all about color management productivity. Even in our preferences panel, we've added several different options to make day-to-day -day tasks simpler. Options like selecting a Delta E method for your reporting. Also, we've added a password protect mode to be able to protect profile settings. And we've also added a feature that improves our Share with Zebra option. The Share with Zebra option allows you now to assign a specific folder to save those smart link settings to a server or to Zebra's auto import folder. So they are imported automatically every time. There are so many features ColorLogic's Copra 6, we recommend contacting your ColorLogic dealer to learn how your profiling can be vastly improved by using Copra 6. As always, go to ColorLogic.de to download and try out all these powerful features.